Hello, welcome to episode 4 in the 1.21 Datapack series. We're going to make an entity tag list. So we've done a block list last episode, so we could group lots of blocks together. This time, we're going to group lots of entities together. So, quite simply, I will spawn a husk and a cow. They're very noisy, because I've made an entity tag list which will target both of those. So we'll do kill any entity. I could do type equals husk, but it's only going to get the husk. And we have the inbuilt lists here. There's loads of them, uh, but I don't want any of them. I want my own. So I'm going to do hash. Now it doesn't autofill for me in this command. ID YouTube 004. That's my namespace, colon. And I called it my entity list. And cows and husks die. Cool. We can target cows and husks just by themselves. Very handy. That's it. Oh, that's my bum. Sorry. That's it. Let's not waffle. Let's get on and build it now. Okay, we might as well just start straight away in VS Code. Again, if you don't know how to get this far, watch episode one, and that'll show you how we get to this basic bit. So I've got all my standard functions in there. My load, my tick, my load, my tick, JSON. We want a list of entities, though. So we can target more than one entity at a time. So let's do right click on my namespace and a new folder, and it will be tags, very similar to the block entities or the block tag list. But here we don't want blog, we want entity type. And you know what? That might be enough for some of you to get exactly what you need. Because in here we're going to make a file, and I'm going to call it my entity list call it whatever you like and it will be a JSON. there we go oh you're not happy okay we'll open and close the curlies we'll have some values it's going to be a list so we'll open and close the square we'll have one value two values there we go not happy because there's nothing in there so i'm going to put minecraft and it's already giving me a suggestion i'm going to put a husk because it doesn't burn in the daylight and i'm going to put minecraft Cow, that is really not how you spell cow. Pow, cow, cow. Oh my, back to school for me. I can't even spell cow. Okay, that's my entity list. It's done. So let's go back to Minecraft. Here we are, and let's get ourselves a couple of eggs. Um, so husk and cow, and we're going to spawn them. Boy. Boink, oh, you're noisy. And we're just going to do kill an entity. Now, where we would normally put the type, this time we will put the hash. It's not auto filling for me when I do it this way. I don't know why. If you do, let me know. ID YouTube 004, that was my namespace. And it was my entity list. No entity was found. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we've done wrong. I know what we've done wrong. I was caught out. I tell you every time, make sure you reload. <laughs> I was caught out because I didn't load. Let's try the command again. There we go. Okay, so always check if you reloaded because we might have gone back to VS Code and spent ages saying, this looks correct. Why is it not working? Don't forget the reload. So let's just go back for a little quick recap. Um, back to VS Code. So we have tags. Well, in my, inside my namespace, IDYT underline 004. Then we have tags. Then we have entity type. And then we have my entity list. And there is my list. Okay. As always, there'll be a download in the description for the, the pack. And let's just go back and see how we use it. So we want to remember namespace and the my entity list. Those are the only two bits we need to know. Namespace, my entity list. And if we look at the command, let's go on. You can have two more. Go on. I know, you're very noisy. And if we look at the command, we can see we've got the hash. Don't forget the hash. And then ID YouTube underline 004. So that's my namespace, colon, my entity list. Job done. I am not even going to waffle at you this time. Nice and quick. Keep it short. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care. I'll wave this egg at you.